Miss World's head-to-head -head challenge places six Miss World contestants in the spotlight and asks the viewers to decide which one of them should qualify for the next round. Welcome to the Mangrove Tree Resort World in Sanya Bay, Tropical China for your first Miss World head-to-head -head challenge. My name is Frankie Chenna and I'll be putting the questions that matter to these national winners from 120 countries. And it's up to our contestants to convince you, the viewers, that they deserve their place on the Miss World final stage. In round one, these six contestants will aim to persuade you they should progress to the next round by giving a short presentation about themselves, their ambitions and dreams. I will then pose that dreaded final question that has been the deciding factor for so many Miss World finalists in the past. Do our six ladies have what it takes to answer that final question under pressure? You, the viewer, will then cast your votes and your winner from each group will reach round two. In round two, the group winners will go head to head in the ultimate presentation battle, pitching to the world for their chosen cause as we test their ability to speak on behalf of the sick and disadvantaged. 20 outstanding women, but only 10 places on the final stage. Miss World 2018 live from Sanya Arena on December 8th. And for our national winners from 120 countries, this is where it begins. Our first six contestants looking for your votes are Australia, Ghana, Peru, Mauritius, Ethiopia, and Czech Republic. Details of how you can vote will follow their presentations. Miss Australia? Hello. Are you ready? I'm ready. Then let's take a look at your video presentation. Hi, my name is Taylor Cannon and I am representing Australia. I am a proud Queensland girl living on the beautiful Gold Coast where we have some of the most incredible beaches, countryside and rainforests. We host many events including the Commonwealth Games and other international events. Fun fact about the Gold Coast is that we have 300 days of sunshine a year. Since I could walk I've been chasing after animals which led me to study vet nursing and I have plans to continue on to vet science. This also led me to my Beauty with a Purpose project which is heading out to the Australian farms to create awareness for our farmers who are facing a serious drought. We are currently facing an international crisis which is affecting our farmers and we need immediate support. I am so honoured to represent Australia and I'm excited to meet all the other contestants and learn a bit about their culture and their Beauty with a Purpose project in Sanya, China for Miss World 2018. So Miss Australia, why have you chosen to talk about farming as your cause? I chose to talk about farming because of my love for animals and my compassion for people and because it's such a prevalent issue in Australia at the moment and it's something that really needs awareness. So I saw the problem but I didn't see a solution and I think that my goal was to raise awareness so that I could possibly spark the mind of someone who has a solution or just to show the people that we're supporting them and we are, I suppose, trying to help. We're, I just wanted to encourage them and support them. But I went out to the farms and I saw these people and they were so, just there, they were so, ready to help and even though they had nothing they they need help so badly but you know they'll give you lunch they will host you and it's so beautiful to see and I think that what touched me the most is the fact that they just continue they keep pushing and I wanted to be hope for them I wanted to show them that you can keep going and if you believe and you just keep pushing that you can overcome everything and I really wanted to be that hope for them and raise awareness and help Australia because we are we are a lucky country and we have so much but there are people struggling we do have people who are losing their homes they're losing their livelihood they're losing everything that they have ever known and 
the animals are dying, they're starving and it breaks their hearts and I really wanted to be the hope for them and raise a lot of awareness for them. Well, we wish you well with that. Thank you. Our next contestant is Ghana. Hello, my name is Nana Ma Benson. I am 23 years of age and a graduate of the University of Ghana, Legon, where I study nursing. I love to listen to music and dance in my leisure time. I present Ghana, the hope of Africa. Ghanians are very hospitable and peaceful. The city in Ghana is amazing. You must see it. You want to take a vacation? Breathtaking sites such as Aqua Safari will treat you right. How about some adventure? The Kakum National Park has a walk and open that will excite you. Keep fed by climbing Mount Afaja and burn so much calories in a day. My country has produced many prominent people. Talk of Dr. Kwame Kuma, first president of the country and icon of African unity. Kofi Annan, former U.S. Secretary General, who is a beacon of peace in the world. Long live Miss Ghana, long live Miss World. So Ghana, why did you choose to study nursing? I chose to study nursing because it suits my nature. I'm tolerant, patient, and kind. I'm willing to help others. It gives me um, some sense of comfort helping people I know will never be able to help me. It makes me feel like if I'm ever bedridden, helpless, someone will give me that selfless care I'm giving to the person. But I believe what goes around comes around. Nursing in the past was considered as a work of calling, of selflessness. And that is why, plus it's used my nature. Thank you so much, Ms. Ghana. Next, we have Peru. Nihao Sanja, I'm Clarice Uribe, Miss World Peru 2018. I'm 21 years old. I'm a student of business administration at a university. I'm a qualified athlete in basketball sport. I like dancing and being with my family most of the time. I was born in Chincha, which is a small town located in the south of Peru. It's the capital of the Afro-Peruvian culture. It's known for its dances and delicious food. Cream, color and flavor are what distinguish Chincha. Since I was a child, I like helping needed people. For that reason, I belong to a small school that helps young people with special needs. I invite you both for me and follow me along the Miss World Contest. Peru, how did you reach the highest level in basketball? I'm going to speak Spanish. En mi familia todos juegan basket. Es por eso que yo desde muy pequeña lo practico. Lo juego todos los días con mis amigos en la universidad, cada vez que puedo. Siento que con el básquet yo puedo ser libre, puedo expresar mis sentimientos, siento que vuelo, siento que soy yo. Me divierto mucho, es muy divertido. Es por eso que gracias al básquetbol yo he conocido muchos eh, distritos y provincias de mi país y gente maravillosa. El básquet más que una pasión es mi vida, es mi todo. Thank you, Frankie. Thank you, Peru. Mauritius, you're next. Let's take a look at her video. Hello, my beautiful world. I am Anne Muriel Ravina, 23 years old, and I am proudly representing Mauritius and Roderick's Island. Mauritius is seen as a model of social and economic stability. Both islands are known as a touristic destination, and our cultural diversity is our main social pillar. I come from a modest family, and I was raised by my grandma after my mother's death. It has boosted me and shaped me into an ambitious and independent young lady, but also into one whose life rests on values and principles. I came to Mauritius for my tertiary studies, and I have now completed with a degree in political science and international relations. And being passionate about humanity, this will allow me to bring a change in society. I enjoy art, and I love being at the gym. Modeling as well has been a century for me since my adolescence. It has really aspired me to grow not only into a fashion model, but also into a role model. It is a great honor for me to use this title and the Miss World platform to serve the community. 
If I have reached so far in life, it's because many people have been supporting me throughout my life journey. This is a beautiful way for me to give back to the world what has been given to me as a great gift. My hope is to have a solid future and a prospective career that will allow me to help other youngsters. I am eager to live up the coming wonderful adventure of competition, learning, friendship and sharing with all the fellow contestants of Miss World. See you soon in China! So Mauritius, why did you choose political science? So I choose political science because I'm really passionate about humanity and I really wish to bring a change in my society and through politics I would be able to bring innovative ideas, policies for the betterment of the people. And in addition, I believe that we need more women in parliament to bring positive change and to bring a difference because women are able to do great things even with less. In addition, however, the Miss World platform is a very great beginning for such future political career because Miss World work for humanitarian causes and using beauty with purpose is very wonderful. It is very significant to me as well as I believe that a degree in political science is really not enough to serve other people. So I am here in this edition of Miss World not only to represent my people and my country but also to learn from the Miss World organization, from the girls, how I can really bring a change in my republic and why not the global world. So I reached so far in life as well because many people have been helping me. So it's a beautiful way for me to use political science and the Miss World contest to really be grateful and to give back to the world what has been given to me. Thank you, Frankie. Thank you. I think you'll make an excellent world leader. Thank you. <laughs> Our next contestant is Ethiopia. Hello, world. My name is Solana Baina. I'm representing the beautiful country, Ethiopia, the origin of human being. I'm 22 years old. I was born in Addis Ababa, the capital city of Ethiopia and the continent of Africa as well. Growing up in a city like Addis Ababa is to feel the multicultural aspect of one big nation like Ethiopia. In Addis Ababa, you don't only grow experiencing a homogeneous aspect of one big nation. You can get the influence of the Arab influences, African countries, Armenia, Greek, India, China, and such traces can be well listened. I like to travel, swim, dance, exchange ideas, adventure, and especially I like to do volunteer work in humanitarian aid. After graduation, I would like to share my ideas throughout the world, especially in my country. And I like to upgrade my involvement in humanitarian activity. The last but not the least, I would like to say, let's have unity. Unity is power, power is unity. So let's be united. Thank you very much. Ethiopia, what ideas do you want to share about your country to the world? The idea that I want to share about my country is Ethiopia is one of the non-colonized country in the Horn of Africa. Capital city of Ethiopia is Addis Ababa, which serves a headquarter for Africa Union and Economic Commerce of Africa, and Pan African Chamber of for Commerce and Industry. Ethiopia has its own calendar and known as Thirty Months of the Sunshine. The last but not the least that I want to raise my voice throughout the world it is helping children, orphans, and mentally handicapped persons. So, as a human. Do we do what we have to do for orphans helping? Because people are suffering from different kinds of things. For like, for example, lack of food, lack of water, lack of hospitalities, lack of streams of education. So please, let's be united and work on different kinds of humanitarian activity so that we can be united. So this, this Miss World 2018 competition helps me to get everybody knows one to each other and work on the cases that's happening in the world. So let's be united and work on the things. So unity is power, power is unity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ethiopia. You have amazing ambitions. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Our final contestant of group one is Czech Republic. My name is Kateřina Kasanova. I'm 19 years old and I'm studying at the Higher Vocational School of International Trade and Business Academy. I'm from Czech Republic, the historical heart of Europe, where Prague is the capital. At Miss Czech Republic, I did get a lot of attention which transferred to social media. If used well, it can be a great tool to voice my opinion way louder than before and that's my plan. The fact 
that I can be someone's role model or simply help other people or the betterness of other beings is definitely a great motivation. All of us are children of Mother Earth. That's why I think we should care for her more and love her. But it all starts with the person in the mirror. I'm Katerina Kasanova, Miss World Czech Republic, and I'm ready to represent my country with all the love and humbleness I've got. Czech Republic, in your video you talk about social media. Can you tell us more about how social media is a tool? Yes, of course. Uh, every single uh, public figure is followed by n not only by adults but also by child and teenagers of various age and I believe it's necessary to post such content that not only entertains to young followers but uh, helps to guide them and shape them to self-love, um, self-love, inner beauty and respect to others. Thank you. Thank you. We hope that you and all of the contestants will inspire people through your social media as well. There we have it, the six contestants of group number one. Now you get to decide which contestant you want to advance to round two, and there are four ways to vote. Liking the contestants' official Miss World Facebook pages, following and liking their content on Mobstar, voting on the Miss World website, and in China on Model Power Live. It's time for the final question. Now ladies, this is it. The contestants have all been given the question before the show. I'm gonna read the question one more time and you have 30 seconds to answer. What is the best quality a parent can share with their child? Czech Republic, you're first. Um, in my opinion, the best qualities parents can pass to their children is definitely love and respect the world around us. They, they can teach us to appreciate what we, what we have and what is, uh, what is given to us. And um, to be grateful and to be humble when we are luckier than others. I think, I, be I believe <laughs> it's, the most, it's the most important in this world, today's world. Thank you. Thank you, Czech Republic. Ethiopia. What is the best quality a parent can share with their child? The best quality that a parent shows to his child is love, comfort, respect, being polite. For example, instead of saying be polite, demonstrate by being polite in every day, in every day of their life. So I raised to in a foolish hand, child that become a president for the next president. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ethiopia. Thank you. Mauritius, what is the best quality a parent can share with their child? Personally, I think that the best quality a parent can share with their child is the capacity of self-determination. Unfortunately, I did not grow up with my father, and at a very young age, I lost my mom. And after the death of my mom, I, I was left with questions like what I'm going to do, where I'm going to be, and how my life was going to change. And at this very moment in my life, I realized that if I was able to ask myself this question, this means that I've got this self-determination. So I believe that this is what really saved me and allowed me to be the best version of myself. My parents gave me this capacity, this quality by leading me. So however, I believe that self-determination will help children around the world to set goals, principles in life for a better future and allow them to overcome any struggles in life, any hardships, no matter if their parents are here or not. Thank you. Thank you, Mauritius. Peru, what is the best quality a parent can share with their child? Pienso que los padres nos pueden transmitir muchas cosas, pero hay algo muy importante y es poder afrontar nuestros errores. Las segundas oportunidades siempre son mejores y los errores nos ayudan a poder superarnos, pero siempre con una actitud positiva para poder enfrentarnos a la vida y poder aprender de ellos. 
Thank you, Peru. Ghana, what is the best quality a parent can share with their child? Mm, the best quality a parent can share with their child is honesty. If parents instill honesty in their children, we will have a society of people with integrity. There will be no crime because everyone needs honest means. That will bring about peace, and peace brings about cohesion, leading to unity, and that breeds love. Honesty is the best policy. Thank you, Ghana. Last but not least, Australia, what is the best quality a parent can share with their child? Well, I think that parents shape us into who we are today, and I think that they teach us the lessons that they learnt the hard way. And my favourite qualities that my mum and my parents gave me would have to be my kindness and to be kind to others and always give your best of yourself to others. Um, and I would say that to give without expecting to receive anything. I think that's a lesson that everyone needs to learn is to give yourself and to give the best of you and to never expect anything in return. Thank you. Well done, Australia. And ladies, you did it. You survived the final question. Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> there you have it. Group one is now finished, but only one of you can advance to round two. And the decision is in your hands. Here's how you vote. Liking the contestants' official Miss World Facebook page, following and liking their content on Mobstar, voting for them on the Miss World website, and in China on Model Power Live. That's it for now. See you for the next Head to Head Challenge here from the Mangrove Tree Resort in Sanya Bay, China.